All right, in this video, what we're going to do is utilize Libra TMR to put data into the feedlot monitor. Now, Libra TMR is a third-party software that uh, has a nice cloud feature, uses iPads, and you can, as you're filling your feed wagon, it automatically can record the pounds and, and keep it and store it, and it's got some nice features in itself. And, um, but you can also utilize this data and pull it directly into your feedlot monitor and get your, the full effect of it. I'm using Libra TMR because we're using this at the farm here currently at Iowa State and there's a few people out in the countryside that are using it and would like to use it with their feedlot monitor so this video just goes over utilizing it. Alright so Libra TMR there you go. Now with this you'll see the data you know you collect it it gets on your iPad and with this data you can email a report to yourself periodically and so when you come to your email here. I emailed a self, myself one. It's the transactions report as fed and this is the one we want to pull in the feedlot monitor. And with here we select it, we hit download and it'll put it in your downloads folder on your computer by default. Now I have mine set up that it put it on my desktop when I did that. So here's my desktop. Okay, my transaction folder is here and it's all set to go. Now the thing I need to do is be sure that I have Feedlot Monitor 3.14 or later and you'll know if you got the right version because you'll have this button that says Libra TMR. And when I hit this button, what it does is it brings up the template. And this template is where all my, my transactions, my as-fed transactions I dump into. And then this can be brought up into the Feedlot Monitor. All right. So here's my transactions or my report that I'll use to get my transactions in. Here's the transactions that I've just downloaded off from my email. And a few things we need to kind of point out. This uh, you'll notice it puts the last data capture last here. The first one's way at, towards the bottom. And I have two months of data in here. I started July 1st keeping it here. And um, as you go through a lot of this, it's pretty self-explanatory. But this here column where it says pen, this pen name is the same as your lot name in Feedlot Monitor. All right. And so just be sure that however you name the pen in Feedlot Monitor, you name it the same way in Libra. Or as you named it in Libra, name it the same in Feedlot Monitor. All right. So these are pretty simple. They're just these groups that we've brought them in as they've been brought in they've been given a number and um, I say be sure that this is that unique number okay that you use for a lot name okay now head count fee adjustments pounds don't really matter here so much in because the feedlot monitor is going to be reading these here columns okay now these columns are the ingredients that are being fed and the pounds delivered to this pen Okay, so the thing you got to keep in mind is always name your pen and your lot the same. Pen in Libra is the same as lot in Feedlot Monitor. Name them the same. These feed ingredients, be sure you name these the same as well. As so as I, if I call it corn silage in Libra, I need to call it corn silage in Feedlot Monitor. Okay, and so here are all my ingredients. Now what I want to do is first of all set up my feedlot monitor that it can take this information okay and so we'll come back to this in a second so I want to go back to my feedlot monitor and one of the lots I'm going to be tracking is lot 39 I already have 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 in the program so I'm going to put 39 in now and I started this group on the first of July. Okay. And this is just the way we would have put it in the feedlot monitor if we weren't using any other software. Those are yearlings. Facility. It's my open front building. And be sure that your facility and your lot aren't the same, okay? And the pen and your lot are the same. Okay, so pen and Libra, lot and feedlot monitor need to be named the same. Alright, so once I get that in, I'm going to hit save. 
it's on my list now. Now I want to be sure that I get the number of head and the value and weight started up to date and correct. So I'm going to go cattle data. It's my 39. These are some farm raised animals. I'll just put that as my origin. Okay, the date is right already. Um, there were six head. It's just a research pen. And they weighed a thousand pounds apiece. So the group weighed six thousand pounds. There's no shrink because these cattle were on the farm already and their value is seven thousand dollars so i'll be hit, sure to hit save all right so they're in so now when i select 39 you can see the data's in just like it is for these other groups okay all right so that's in so then the next thing you want to be sure that in your setup feeds feedstuffs area these feed names match the feed names in libra okay and i've got these set up already so they're all ready to go so be sure you have that in. And I say the next thing is be sure that your um, your inventory values are correct. And if there needs to be any updating, be sure you update them. So, okay, so I've already entered corn into the system. If I need to update that price, I can do so. Okay, so it's in. Be sure to save that. Get that all up to date before you put your Libra stuff in. Okay, so the feeds are in. I got my prices up to date for what I want it to be for these records that I'm pulling in. It's all set. So really that's all you got to do in terms of the feedlot monitor to get it set up and ready to take your data. Now the next part then is to go to your Libra TMR, pull up your template, and then after that is pull up your Libra data. Okay. So this is the Libra data and these values in the feeds here are listed as as fed amounts. And notice what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just taking my mouse and highlighting this data sheet. Okay. And there's a lot of records here because I got two months full of data and there's 60 pens of cattle. So there's a lot of records here. Okay. Okay. Good. So I highlighted it and I'm going to right click and hit copy. Okay, I'm just going to take this whole sheet, copy it, and I'm going to paste it into this template. Now notice I'm going to select cell A3 with my mouse. And then I take the right mouse button. And when I hit the right mouse button, I get this menu. And I'm going to just select Paste Special. Whoops, wrong one. Just hit paste. That'll work too. You can hit paste special values or paste depending how cooperative your computer is. Okay, so I just selected paste here. I selected the cell, right click, paste. It's in. Okay, so on here, I can, there's a couple settings I can set. Okay, so I'm going to create a feed record, one record every seven days. So what it's going to do is my Libra data, I'm getting two records a day per pen because they're being fed twice a day. Or if I had one record a day or once a day feeding, I would have that. But it's going to compress seven days worth of data into one record. Okay, if you wanted one record per day, you put a one here. If you want a month's worth, you put 30 days here. But seven's a nice number. It keeps your data manageable, but you can see the trends. So I'm going to take seven data days, make one record. My maintenance ratio, it's set at 1. It means there's really no issues going on. If it was harsh weather, a lot of mud, I may put this at 1.2, 1.3, depending. If you're new cattle, maybe 1.2. Um, so we can set that. And it takes, gives you a little more adjustment for maintenance requirements for the animals. The yardage value, my yardage value is 55 cents per head per day. Yours may be more, it may be less. Put in the value that's correct for your operation. Okay, some people have 35 cents, some people have a dollar five. Okay, so just put in what's right for you. All right. So that's really all there is to get it on the template. I just pasted it in, cell A3, it filled this in all nicely. You'll see here are my pens, here are my feedstuffs. All I do now is hit the button that says upload data to Feedlot Monitor. And bang, it's in just like that. So we have two months of data on 60 pens into the feedlot monitor. I'm only tracking 
34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39, those pins, but it's all there, okay? So the data is all in feedlot monitor now. Now the thing, if you want to see your data, go to update data, go to feeding periods, go to normal, okay? Then on this screen, select recalculate all lots. And what this is doing is it's taking that raw data that we just uploaded and compressing it into those feeding periods. And I'm creating one feeding period for every seven days of data. All right. So it goes through them all. And you can saw these numbers were changing. It was just each lot as it's getting it up to date. Then what I can do is select the lot, select view feeding period screen and you can see here here's every seven days I've created a record it takes the seven days on the Libra puts it into one feeding record here you can see the first through the seventh eighth through the fourteenth and so on and my last record ends on the twentieth because that's all the data I had so then it's giving me my days on feed my current weight of these animals average daily gains Okay, feed the gain, dry matter, as fed intakes, they're all there. Okay, so all your information is ready to go. Break evens, okay. And you'll notice this last record here, it kind of fell off. And what it is, is I was feeding twice a day. I didn't have the second day's record yet in for here. So it looks like they're starving to death. But really what it is, it's just missing the second record. And so the next time I pull in my Libra data, you know, it'll take this record and it'll pull it in and compress it and make this new feed record. I could take this whole record out if I wanted to. And I said next time I pull it in, it'll be all up to date. But um, right now it's just waiting for that second feeding before it finishes this record. So anyway, that's what it did. And so that was pen 39, the one I just entered. But these other ones, it brought all their data in as well. So if I select those, hit the screen, you'll notice filled all that data in. Here's all my records all ready to roll. So they're all there. So I did all those records for two months all in one click. All right, and that's all there's to it. So hopefully this works well for you if you're using this um, software and uh, I'll catch you later.